We've got a flat battery. Let's first just check the voltage on that and see what we're dealing with. Um, in this regard here, we've got two batteries. We've got 22.9 volts. Um, it should be something over 24 volts, in fact, to be fully charged. And that's why when you turn the starter key, it's going click, 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 click. Luckily, I've got this new SP jump starter, which is both 12 and 24 volt. This makes it much, much more practical for a workshop situation because I've got a whole range of vehicles now that this one tool can start. Very long lead, so I can get the terminals that are more than a meter apart. I'm gonna connect this up um, negative to negative, positive to positive, as I should but I'm going to purposely select the wrong voltage just so you can see the safety work. So I've gone to 12 volt instead of 24. You can see the red light flashing and the audible warning. I'll also misconnect it, so I'll give it reverse polarity. So by giving it reverse polarity, you know, it's a mistake that an apprentice might make. Again, we've got a visual and audible alarm. Now, to jump start it, it's extremely easy. With this unit, all I have to do is connect the leads, positive to negative, select the correct voltage, which is 24 in this case, and then press this button here. You hit a solenoid come in, and we've got a solid green light. Now all we have to do is go and start the vehicle. We've just turned the vehicle off and disconnected the jump starter. Let's have a little bit more of a look at the features for this jump starter from SP Tools, part number SP61097. Fantastic output, 4300 amps peak power. It will start all petrol vehicles and your diesel vehicles up to 10 litres. In 24 volt, we say it'll do diesel up to six litres, we're being a little bit safe there. What we don't know is how flat the battery connected to this large diesel is. So there's a bit of variability and we don't want to overstate things. So we're saying 24 volt up to six liters. Certainly it may do more than that. Now, as far as the unit's concerned here, if we want to know how much charge is in the batteries, we simply press the mode button. You can see it comes up with 100%. The charge is a import here. Uh, it's a 12 volt input. It would take, if it was completely flat, it would take um, about eight hours to charge the battery fully. Normally though, once you've used it, you'd bring it back to the workshop and you'd plug it in once you'd start it and it'd always be 100% charge when you're using it. It's quite effective, even down to 50%. Um, it will still start most of your petrol vehicles, even at 50%. We also have some extra features here. We've got a light. Um, this is your warning if your um, polarity is incorrect or your voltage is incorrect. Um, if I hold this button down here, then you can see I've got the USB power output so I can connect any of my portable devices, be it phones, computers, laptops, and let them charge from the uh, battery pack. Um, it depends on you know, what you're doing. Some people may want to take it camping with them, but it's really designed as a workshop tool. It's designed so that you can keep it charged up in your workshop, use it to jumpstart any vehicle that may need it at the time. As far as the lights are concerned, if we hold this button here, and I will point out that all the instructions are on the panel. So it's saying here, you hold the button for three seconds to get the lights. We'll try not and shine that in the camera lens. Then we get lights and we can change the mode. So you've got flashing lights, etc. SOS, and turn it off. So that's the new jump starter, 1224 volt, extremely versatile, compact, lightweight, good length of leads.